Hi everyone and welcome to Project 31 for 2023, where I watch 31 horror films in the 31 days of October and I'll give you my review for each and every single one of them. Today, October 14th, I will review the movie Critters. Critters is a sci-fi horror movie about a group of creatures called the Krites who escape a prison colony and headed towards Earth. They are chased by two shape-shifting bounty hunters that were commissioned by the acting warden. The Krites land somewhere in rural Kansas and begin looking for the one thing you have to do when you escape prison, food. Meanwhile, before the Krites actually land, we get introduced to the Brown family who live just outside of town. Brad, the youngest of the family, always seems to be doing something wrong, climbing on trees, making fireworks, and shooting off his slingshot. April, the sister, who fights with Brad all the time and is your typical horny teen that constantly jumps from boyfriend to boyfriend. Helen, the mom, is a traditional stay-at-home wife, while the dad, Jay, seems to be your typical blue-collared worker, right along with your bowling team, Knight. In fact, the only oddity in this family we get introduced to before everything goes to hell is Charlie. You're a garden variety, drunk slash alien abductee slash conspiracy nut of the town who happened to do odd jobs for Jay. And of course, spending time with Brad doing some good old fashioned tomfoolery. The real fun begin after the Krites land and start tearing up the Brown family house and the farm in search for food. They eat through everything, cows, humans, cereal, anything. It is up to the Brown family and the bounty hunters who reach Earth to deal with the Krites before they get too big and powerful and infest the entire town or maybe the entire planet. <laughs> My description of this movie doesn't really do it justice. This is an 85 minute cover to cover movie that is chuck full of 80s sci-fi horror entertainment. No wonder if you Google search Critters the movie, you'll get a lot of comparisons with the movie Gremlins. In some aspects, they are of the same vein of storytelling. Quiet town, traditional family, dealing with foreign alien creatures who seem set to not want nothing but causing mayhem. These Krites, or Critters, were designed by the Kyoto Brothers. And yes, I said Kyoto, I am aware I called them to Chiyoto in my Killer Clowns review. Anyway, the Kyoto Brothers designed the Critters in such a way that they have a distinctive look, but also be very functional as an attacking creature. They roll as their primary way of movement, shoot suppressive darts from their head to immobilize targets and bite them as their primary weapon. I'm saying all that because the Kyoto brothers were a major part of making these critters a believable threat rather than just run-of-the-mill monster of the week. And most importantly, insert a bit of fun in an otherwise scary movie about invading space monsters. The fun doesn't stop at the critters themselves. The interaction between the shape-shifting bounty hunters and the rest of the town makes their chase to reach the Krites more interesting, funny, and insane as you want to see what will happen next with these goofy acting aliens. We want the Krites. The Krites? Critters, Krites. I highly recommend you pick up this movie to watch for the Halloween season. To me, it fits the theme of the holiday perfectly, managing both to scare you and make you laugh of the absurdity of this whole situation. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this review and this is not the holiday season, please be sure to check out my other reviews that I've done in the past or our Saturday show, The Room McCoy Podcast, where we dive much deeper into this movie and other amazing movies.